It's a staple in Hawaii's tourism-based economy, and it's disappearing before our eyes. We're talking about the beach in Waikiki, and now state officials want to hear from you. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now live with a look at just how bad conditions are getting. Good morning, Dallas, and looking very differently in Waikiki these days. Good morning, Christine. That's right. And from what I'm told, this has been an ongoing problem, which is why the Department of Land and Natural Resources is proposing different projects for beach and maintenance improvement for the areas of Fort de Russi, Halekulani, Royal Hawaiian, and Kohio Beach sectors. Now, what is happening later today is that the Office of Conservation and Coastal Lands will be holding a virtual scoping meeting today. We have that link on our website at kh12.com regarding the environmental impact statement preparation notice for for the Waikiki Beach Improvement and Maintenance Program. Now that meeting starts at 2 p.m. Again, it is through Zoom, so it is a different experience, but of course, it's going to give you that information that you need and also the solutions on how you can help save our beaches here in Waikiki. But give you a live look, if we could go back on TV right here, just to show you the exposed plumbing here in between Halakulani and the outrigger Waikiki. You see that we have these two pipes meeting at an intersection right here. We also have this area. If you could check your TV screen so you could see it live for yourself right here. This used to be a public access area, and now it has been closed down because of the exposed plumbing and also the ongoing erosion that's continuing to happen here with those high tide waves really adding the pressure to it. So this has been closed down for quite a bit. You can see another area of exposed plumbing over here in this area as well. So once the sun comes up, we're going to see different damages that our beaches have taken throughout the years and also how we can help save them. So. Reporting from the Waikiki area, Dallas Navarros, K-22 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. A decline in business is forcing the iconic Pagoda Floating Restaurant.